Hello, my name is Aaron and welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about how to safely clean your sensor on Sony mirrorless cameras. If you haven't watched any of my videos before, I do lots of tips and tricks for Sony mirrorless cameras. So if that sounds like your sort of thing, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like on the video. So cleaning the sensor on any type of camera is a pretty daunting task. Sensors are extremely sensitive and fragile, and you don't want to be messing around with them if you don't know what you're doing. There are reasons for cleaning sensors, like you get specks of dust on it, that might just happen naturally when you're changing lenses, or it might have just come dirty when you've bought it secondhand, for example, which is basically what happened with my camera, a Sony A6000, which I'm going to be cleaning today. So a couple of things before we get into the sensor cleaning. Please be extremely careful not to touch the sensor with your finger. You do not want to be leaving any fingerprints or making the sensor even harder to clean or even worse, damaging the sensor. Also, if you're using any kind of sensor cleaning kit like the one I'm about to use, please double check the instructions before you do anything. And if at any stage, you're not 100% sure what you're doing or not comfortable with the process, please go to a camera professional rather than following this video. But for me, I find this process does work and is generally straightforward if you follow the steps carefully. So the first thing you're going to want to do is do a visual check of the sensor to see if there's any dirt on the sensor. This should be apparent fairly quickly. You'll see any specks of dust or marks on the sensor. Then to check exactly how much this dirt is showing up on your photos, I would recommend taking a test photo. So by this, I mean take a completely blank photo, either of a white sheet of paper or a white wall on a narrow aperture. So if you change the aperture setting to something like along the lines of f22, if your camera goes that high, or anywhere from about f11 upwards should show up any marks that you've got. As you can see from this example here, the speck of dust that is on my sensor shows up with quite a noticeable dot on my photos, meaning I'm going to need to clean my camera's sensor to get rid of this blemish. Luckily, there are some quite straightforward steps which might get rid of all this dirt straight away. The first of which is the camera's built-in sensor cleaning mode. This gently vibrates the camera's sensor and hopefully removes any specks of dust on the sensor. To activate this, go to the main menu and then Setup. And then on tab 3, there is sensor cleaning mode. This only takes a few seconds to activate and will hopefully remove some specks of dust. Now, personally for me, I've never found this to work, but it's definitely the first step that you should take. After you've done the sensor cleaning mode, check it again to make sure that the dirt is still there. So the second step, again, is relatively straightforward, but I would recommend that you're using the right type of tool for the job. And that is to blow air on the sensor, which will hopefully dislodge any specks of dust that are there. So the type of blower that I would recommend using is a rocket style air blower that look a little bit like this. This is a fairly inexpensive type of air blower and I'll leave a link to it in the description below but you definitely want to be using a tool like this. Definitely do not blow into the sensor using your mouth because little bits of liquid may get left behind and may damage your sensor. Also, do not use canned compressed air because little bits of liquid may get onto your sensor and could damage your camera. When using the air blower, make sure the nozzle does not touch the sensor itself. I'd make sure you'd keep it about one to two centimeters away from the sensor to make sure it does not scratch the sensor. When blowing air into the sensor, have it facing downwards to give the most chance for the dirt to just drop out naturally. So after you've tried blowing the air, hopefully that'll dislodge any dust that's on there. And generally I find little bits of dust, this does do the trick. Check the sensor again and hopefully any bits of dust will be dislodged. Often I find this step very effective and will hopefully have got rid of all the dust on your sensor. However, if that's not the case and the dirt still remains, we'll have to move on to the next steps, which are a little bit more difficult. Again, if you're unsure of the steps or don't feel comfortable, don't hesitate to stop here and go to a camera professional instead. So the next step involves cleaning the sensor with a swap. I'm using a specialist cleaning set that I got off Amazon. These are fairly cheap, around 15 pounds, about $20, and should do for a few cleans. This set in particular has 12 cleaning swabs in it and the fluid that you need to clean your sensor. I'll leave a link in the description to the set that I've used because I found it very effective, but please double check the instructions before using it. So the set includes sensor cleaning fluid and individually wrapped cleaning swabs. Make sure on any cleaning set that you've got that the fluid is designed for sensors as you can get lens cleaning fluid which isn't suitable for sensors. So being careful not to touch the end of the swab when you unwrap it. Take the swab out of the packet and drop one or two drops of the cleaning fluid onto the swab. And no more than that because you don't want to be leaving any liquid on the sensor once you are done.
Then gently wipe the swab across the sensor, going from one side to the other. You don't need to use much pressure at all. Then turn the swab over to go in the other direction across the sensor. Again, be very gentle because you don't need much pressure to pick up dirt and marks. Hopefully that process will work after one swab. If not, you can repeat the process and hopefully it will pick it up on the second attempt. If you've only used one or two drops of solution, there shouldn't be any residue left behind on the sensor. But on the off chance that there is, just use a completely dry swab again and gently drag it across the surface of the sensor and that should pick up any excess liquid. Here you can see now that the sensor is completely clean and that speck of dust has gone. Once you're done, I would recommend taking another test shot against a white piece of paper or white background, and you should be able to see that the marks have gone from your shots. So for me, that successfully cleaned the sensor of my Sony a6000. Again, if you're unsure, make sure you go to a camera professional, but if you follow the steps carefully, this should clean your sensor. If you found the video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like on the video. And if you want to check out any of my photography, you can find it on Instagram at Aaron.Prescott. But that's it for me for now. Until next time, see ya.